Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Jenny Hall. Thanks for joining me for another card making tutorial. Today I have an interesting background technique to share with you. I'm going to create a baby card with Little Love's Framelit dies and a Little Wild stamp set. These stamps are unique in the way that each one of the rubber stamps creates a front and back image of each character. Because I'm using an elephant today, then it's going to stamp out a front and a back of the elephant. I've stamped onto watercolor paper and I am setting the image with some clear embossing powder which will help me to keep all of the fluid inside the lines when I'm doing the watercoloring. Watercoloring an open lined image is one of the really easy and fun ways that I complete a card making project. And this little elephant is just cute as can be. Once everything is dry, I use the coordinating framelit die from Little Love's Framelits and it will cut these two images out together. Once they are die cut, I can use my paper snips to take away what would have created a gift tag and separate these two units. For the background, I'm going to watercolor with the wet on wet watercolor technique. I start off with a piece of watercolor paper and I've added water across the whole image or across the whole piece of paper. Then I'll pick up with my aqua painter a little bit of diluted ink from the lid of a standard stamp pad of dye ink and as the water absorbs the ink, it spreads it out across the paper on its own. If the paper were dry and not wet, then the fluid I apply would just sit where it is. That's a good technique in its own on a different project, but the look that I'm going for to create this background is going to be a very hazy look. Oftentimes for baby themed products and projects, we try to go for something that reminds us of babies. And so is this very hazy look reminds me of a baby blanket. After I apply the yellow and the aqua colors, I'm filling in between with the gray. What the, what the point is to do this is to apply the gray down to the paper and now all the paper is covered with those three colors. After it's covered, then I applied a light layer of gray over the entire surface. It's going to help me to be able to get more of a uniform color. Once all of the ink is dry after this process, then I'll apply some droplets of water from my hand directly to the watercolor paper. This is watercolor lift, is, well this is what I call it, and it takes away some of the colors that were applied to the paper and brings up more colors underneath. This is now going to be a much lighter and hazier piece of paper once I add this white craft ink across the top. I dabbed a little bit on the acrylic block so that you can see exactly what that white looks like. It's almost like a cloud. So I've, I've put some over the entire piece of watercolor paper and now am dabbing some of it back up. And then I have pulled some of it on the acrylic block and with my aqua painter, I'm doing some flicking motions to send it down to the paper. There are very many layers of color on that watercolor panel. So some may ask me, that's a lot of trouble, Jenny, to go to, to making one background. First of all, I like to watercolor and it's fun. 
Second of all, it's a very unique look and it helps me to get exactly what I imagined in my mind design out onto the paper. Sometimes it's important that we're able to get those ideas out. <laughs> so to give a sentiment, I am stamped onto some vellum cardstock and heat set it with white embossing and I've cut this out with a stitched shape framelit die. Here's where the little elephant will come in and I'm going to attach the element, the elephant to where he hangs off of the circle a little bit so he's partially on and partially off. I'm going to hide the foam adhesive behind the element, behind the elephant, sorry, because there is transparency to the vellum paper and I don't want my adhesive to show. To give a little bit of texture and interest to a card that can be seen as already filled up with most definitely um, a lengthy process, I'm just adding a little bit of Baker's twine and now some enamel dots to pull the colors out away from the center but then also allow some place for the eye to rest. I'm also using a foil snowflake and these are the nicest snowflakes. They are very pretty but I didn't want to use an entire snowflake. So I cut away a few of the longer arms and using my snail adhesive, I'm attaching them down just in opposite ends of the card to create something interesting. Because this card is made for a color challenge, using silver snowflakes is still keeping in with the theme. There's so many parts to this card, it's hard to say what would be my favorite. The background is certainly nice to put together, but these little elephants have got to be the best for me. Thank you all for joining me for another card tutorial. All of the products that I've used are listed in the video description as well as the measurements. Be sure not to miss the exclusive content I share with my customers. I'd love for you to become a customer by clicking Shop Now at JennyStampsUp.com to make your Stampin' Up! purchase. Thank you for joining me today. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching the video. See you next time.